just three games on the road to open up back to play? Well, um, I learned a lot, you know. I mean, especially, um, you know, we weren't happy with our performance against Arizona. Um, you know, we thought we were a little flat and a step or two off um, and disappointed to give up three set-piece goals. Um, so to see our preparation for the number one team in the country and the defending national champions, um, I was really proud of our effort, and especially against USC. Um, you know, the second half of UCLA uh, was fantastic, and then that carried over for about 80-some-odd minutes um, against USC. And so, you know, unfortunately, we, we, we picked up some injuries, kind of like, you know, Oregon football did. Um, so did uh, soccer, and we have to deal with that adversity for this week. How important is Hotla to your team? I mean, I know it's easy to just look at what happened. She goes out, two goals score. How important is she? Um, you know, she's been a huge leader for us, you know, and it's been a great um, story, if you will, watching her development as a freshman, you know, coming in, uh, not starting, um, earning her minutes. Um, even last year, kind of splitting time with Caitlin Carter to establishing herself as um, our true starter. And, um, you know, I, I always go back to the Boise weekend. I thought that really uh, turned and it was a turning point for Hotla, um, you know, because she played extremely well. And I think she found her confidence. Um, and it's just about getting better each time she steps on the field. So, yeah, a difficult spot for anyone to come in. Um, you know, I think USC smelled the blood in the water and took advantage of it. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll be ready for this weekend in whichever direction that we'll be heading into. And you have, oh, go ahead. Moving forward to the Washington State matchup this Thursday, last time out against Washington State, Halloween weekend last year, what's something that you feel that the Cougars are going to see something new perhaps from your team? You know, I, I think we're all a little disappointed that we didn't get the three points against USC. And so I think, uh, you know, a little bit of a chip on our shoulder to come out here and play. Um, and it's nice to be at home at Pat Bay Stadium. I think it's going to be a beautiful day, uh, 4 o'clock on Thursday. And, and Washington State's a good team. They're, you know, they're opportunistic. They, they play extremely hard for each other. They work hard. Um, and they're tough to break down. You know, they had a good uh, weekend this past weekend. And so I think... In the Pac-12, I mean, you don't know until the end of the final whistle, um, you know, which team is going to come out on top. Because uh, based off paper, you can never go off of those. How do you evaluate Kate, Caitlin Carter? Came in and gave those two goals, but also had a couple of really nice saves as well. She did, you know, and we she's been doing making those saves in practice. Um, you know, I thought her kicking game was good. And it's tough. I mean, 14 minutes, um, you know, in, in, in a really intense game. And so I, I was happy with her performance. Um, you know, I think... Uh, it's in any situation that's tough for uh, any player to step into that um, situation. I thought she did a good job. What was the message to the team after that USC game? You know, I mean, I think we were all extremely proud of them, um, you know, and my heart hurts, still hurts for them. And, and that's something that we have to make sure that we're not still focusing on, oh, what could have been or, oh, what should have been. It's all right. We're a little mad that we didn't get those three points and let's attack this week with that kind of enthusiasm. How important are the next you know, couple of weeks? You have a lot of matches coming up at home. Oh, I, I love our, our home schedule here. You know, I think it's going to be a great home schedule. We have three games at home. Um, we're really good and we're hard to beat at home. Um, the fans come out and support us. And uh, Pepe Stadium is a fun place to play. So, you know, obviously we're, our focus is on the Cougars. And then we get the hated Huskies on Sunday. And that will be a fun game. Um, and then turn around and you got Arizona State the following Friday. Check the Papai signs coming up this week. <laughs> you got that, huh? <laughs> you know, tell me, tell me a little bit about those signs and what it means to make sure you ensure three points in at home. Well, I, you know, looking at it, the the, the stretch ahead of us, um, it's a great opportunity for us to pick up some points. And I, I think you're absolutely right. You, you, you caught that. It's protect Pat Pay. Um, you know, at, at, you take aside NC State. And we've done a really good job, and we've always been really tough to beat at home. And so I think that's the attitude that we have to approach this training. I and mean, we have two days of training, which is nice. And I think the mentality has got to come out here, and you know we don't let anyone dictate play on our home playing field. Thanks, Scott. All right. Thanks, Thank folks. you.